Welcome to Three Minutes Added On. Something strange is happening to football. It would appear that those that make the most out of the game want to change what it's really about. Skybet excitedly announced this afternoon their latest fan gimmick, which would appear to be a massive fuck-off sofa plonked in the middle of a stand. You know where people are supposed to be. Notwithstanding the obvious contraventions of ground policy, I mean, you can't take in a bottle of coke with a friggin' lid on, never mind coffee tables and floor lamps. The stunt seems to be bizarre. It's like advertising turkey crown to, well, turkeys. Do Skybet not realise that we, the match-going fans, absolutely hate this shit? If we wanted to sit on the sofa, we'd have stayed at home. The traditional football fan is now an endangered species, a bit like those orcas at SeaWorld. But is anyone looking to make a sob story documentary and stick it on Netflix for those whose moral compass is set by whatever's trending on Twitter at the moment? No, nobody cares because the public see football fans as naturally animalistic in nature, thugs underneath the polyester shirts, and that carrying a season ticket is seen as some kind of proof of an unhealthy fetish. I mean, who actually goes to football games? In the rain. It's like going to the same theme park each week, isn't it? Richard Scudamore, our benevolent, omnipotent leader, tells us that we're a bit weird for not wanting a 39th game, and that we all must sing La Marseillaise before kickoff at the weekend. As if we're not capable of reflecting on the tragedy in Paris in the proper way. A huge choreographed display of grief, just like they do in Pyongyang. It's either a well-intentioned gesture that is a bit off the mark, or, more likely, a sickeningly ostentatious attempt to publicly grieve because it cultivates a more marketable image for the Premier League. Football fans don't need to be told when to grieve, when to reflect, when to stand in silence, to get angry or, well, to feel anything. Because we're people, and do we start selecting which tragedies we mourn over? I mean, what's wrong with what's happened in Mali? Was it a bit blasé? Or, or too african if for your tastes? Why aren't we remembering them? Oh right, I forgot. I am. Because I don't need to be told what to do. I mean, it's not like football does well at reflecting on tragedies normally anyway. I mean, we used to stand in silence occasionally, we still do, when it was time to reflect. What do we do now? Clap when someone's died. Do the hokey fucking cokey when the Queen dies. It's weird. But if there's anything football administrators specialise in more than anything else, it's mawkishness. So, you can take your daft sofa, your half and half scars, your set of instructions on how we should feel, your leeching betting companies, greasy agents, thick as pig shit pundits, 70 quid a month subscription fees, 11am kickoff time, and you can shove them up your distended ass. We're three minutes added on, the home of football satire.